So on the 680, your storage space is just, it just keeps on coming with the storage spaces in here. So obviously we've got our uh, tray in here, which you could have for cutlery and things like that if you want. You've got your big one here. We've got manuals and things in there at the moment. That's there. And then underneath here, these two underneath here, you can't get over it. Look at the size of that. Huge, huge drawer uh, that you've got in there, whether you want to put that in um, for cooking utensils, for example, and the one at the bottom that's on there as well. Again, huge amount of space, you get plenty of things that you would ever possibly need uh, that's in there as well. And they just get locked in. These drawers are all soft closed as well. So as you can see, you can soft close it from on there. Obviously you can leave those out. You'll need to put those in really and lock it in place for when you're actually traveling. That's so you things don't start sliding in and out uh, as you go from on there. So huge amount of space that's on there as well. I like when these vehicles come in, when they come in and they've been used for a while as well, because there's things that have been changed on them that we can talk about. So uh, one of the things that's on here is the electrical sockets. Now I know we did this one, I think, uh, when the vehicle was fairly new for the customer. So uh, obviously the top, normally they're all pointing upwards, but obviously it's very difficult to put one in the second one. So uh, that can be turned around through 90 degrees. So now if you put a socket in there, lead comes this way, socket in there, lead comes that way. Uh, doesn't affect the European market because with their plugs that they plug in, uh, and the European market literally just plugs in. So it doesn't matter where it is uh, that's on there. But for us in the UK, you can twist that round. Uh, and I know the customer whose vehicle this is, his new one. Uh, it's one of the things he's asked us to do on his, on his new one as well. So we can just turn that around ready for him when he uh, when he gets out so i uh, said so this is what i quite like about these vehicles when they've been used because we get to see those things as well uh, and we are doing a separate video uh, and we're going to talk about some of the things with it being a slightly older vehicle what to expect uh, and the things in which you're not you know you don't need to worry about this on there as well look at condition uh, look at what you can do and what we we do for example to uh, to get it back to a uh, you know a, the condition which it would be in for you to uh, to sell uh, this particular one for example is in absolutely brilliant condition uh, consider you know for its age but there are a few little things that we're just going to do and I'm going to talk you through those as well just to lift the vehicle effectively and just to things that uh, you might want to do if you've got one you're probably going to watch that video and go oh I'll do that on my own one that I've got so anyway that's a future video that is coming uh, so as I said this is we're in our bed section now at the back that's on here so if I jump up on here um, obviously sleeping wise you've got the whole length you go you're not across the vehicle you're up and down the vehicle loads and loads of space that's in here uh, obviously storage wise you've got all of these cabinets along here obviously these ones for example you probably use for your cooking and put things that you might want up there like teas coffees all that kind of stuff that you want to put in there and then obviously from here you can put your clothes and things like that in i mean these these cabinets that are in here i cannot emphasize enough how much space you have got because uh, obviously you've got lots of space in here, there's lots of space in the top that you can put things in there as well. I've seen people with packets and put, you know, really get stuff stuffed in. And this goes all the way around as well, it just keeps on going all the way around the vehicle. Um, humongous amount of space, loads of space uh, as it goes around from on here. So uh, definitely no excuse for not uh, filling it all up if you want to. Um, and I'm sure that you can take everything that you would want to do. But you've also got your wardrobe. And you've actually got it with a door on that's on here as well. So you've got your wardrobe space that's in there. Uh, you can put a rail up here if you want to. Um, uh, and then obviously storage space underneath at the back as well, uh, which gives you even more space that's on there as well, should you want to use it. With the 680, as I said, this is a bit like a grand tour. It's somewhere for two people to go off and explore. Uh, obviously, you can go wherever you want to in that base. If there's so many areas of storage, it's very easy to take everything you could possibly need with it. Uh, I really like the setup because you've got your, your sleeping bit here, so you, you'd have this out all the time. Obviously, you'd be putting it away every day. Uh, then you've got your, like, your cooking and your bathroom area in the middle, and then you're into your lounge at the front. So you've got those distinct areas. So if there's two of you, you've always got somewhere you don't want to be. If you don't want to be at the same time, you know, you can use the bed, you can go back in there as well. It's just very, very versatile. Really, really like it. Really good. And plenty, really airy, because you can have your doors open at the back. Got windows there, as I said. You've got big, big skylights in the vehicles as well. So we've got a big skylight here at the back, big skylight that's there as well letting all that natural light in from where you're sitting as well. And then finally moving around, we've got the bathroom. And this is what really sets this vehicle apart, because obviously you've got the facilities that's in here as well. So you've got toilet, shower, etc. I'll let you have a look uh, around in the side of here. So we've got our cassette toilet, which we've looked at from outside the vehicle that can move around. We've got our uh, wash basin that's in there. It's in there. We've got our shower head that's here, obviously mirror, etc. Uh, and we've got our vent at the top as well that's in there. It is a wet room, so obviously you're gonna have a shower, everything's gonna get wet that's in there as well. A lot of people, for example, have the suction pads for the shower, so they can attach the shower up there, uh, and then obviously have a shower there based off it as well. So I'll let you have a look around there as well. Really good space, really big, plenty of space that's in there as well. 
Now I mentioned about fly screens, uh, something we don't all often talk about on these, we don't see them being used so much, but they're definitely worthwhile. It's in there. When you've got your door open, that's say you have also got your fly screen on the door as well. So you can pull that across into there and then obviously then you still got the door wide open but you can keep those pesky flies out hope you enjoy watching the walk around of the 680 behind me here uh, as i said we're going to do another follow-up video now we're going to have a look at if you're buying a used 680 or a 600 uh, and some of the things we do when it comes in give you an idea on condition uh, what to look out for and things like that uh, with the vehicles as well so that video is going to be coming probably shortly after this one as well so check that one out uh, if you have enjoyed today's video give us a thumbs up give us a like uh, if you don't subscribe please subscribe those subscribers really do help the channel out and we'll see you next time